everyone, today we will talk about the mean of ungrouped data. Ungrouped data meaning the data observations are not arranged in frequency distribution table. So mostly, the number of observations are less than 30. So the mean is the average of the data. So it is also known as the average. So it is the most commonly used among the measures of central tendency. So in finding the central value of data set, the mean is affected by the extreme values. So what do you mean by extreme values? Those are the least value or the greatest value. So this is the formula in finding the mean. Mean or in symbol it is x bar is equal to the summation of x all over n. So when you say the summation of x, sum of all values of x or scores divided by n. n means the number of observations. Let us have example number 1. The Philippine basketball team scored 81, 73, 81, 86, and 89 points in their last 5 games. What is the average score points of their games? So let us compute the mean. The mean is denoted as x bar. That is equal to the summation of x all over N. Summation of x meaning we have to add all the values of points or scores. Divided by n, n means the number of scores. So we have n is equal to 5. So that is equal to 81. So add all the scores plus 73 plus 81 plus 86 plus 89 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so n is equal to 5. First, let's add the same tens digit, so 80 plus 80 plus 80 plus 80, or multiply it by 4, so that is 320. Then add 70, that is 390. Then add the units digits, so 390 plus 1, 391, plus 3, 394, plus 1, 395, plus 6, 401. Plus 9, 410. So, that is equal to 410. All over 5. 410 divided by 5, that is 82. Therefore, the average score point is 82. Let us have example number 2. The size of 16 families in a barangay chosen at random are as follows. 8, 7, 4, 6, 12, 6, 7, 6, 8, 10, 7, 8, 5, 3, 4, and 3. Find the mean size of the families. So mean is denoted as x bar. And that is equal to summation of x all over n. Summation of x means we need to add all the size of the families. So 8 plus 7, 15, plus 4, 19, plus 6, 25, plus 12, 37, plus 6, 43, plus 7, 50, plus 6, 56, plus 8, 64, plus 7, 74, plus 7, 81, plus 8, 89, plus 5, 94, plus 3, 97, plus 4, 101, and plus 3, 104. So summation of x is 104 divided by n. n is the number of families. If we're going to count the size of the families, we have 16. So n is 16. So 104 divided by 16, we have 6.5. So the average size of the families is 6.5 so that's it thank you for watching i hope you learned from my video and if you learn please subscribe to my channel